Hey there. One thing that I'm seeing more deeply this week as a result of lovely conversations with clients and other coaches is how the three principles explain or point to two things that every human being has in common with every other human being. And as we see this insightfully, it is natural to experience an increase in patience with other people's quirks or irritating habits uh, with ourselves. It's natural to experience an increase in compassion. Uh, there are just there are a lot of nice side effects of seeing this clearly. So the two things that every human being has in common with every other human being is one, in any moment, any human being has the capacity, an infinite capacity, for a new thought. No matter how stuck, shut down, messed up, confused, puzzled, upset, angry, freaked out, a human being might be, in every moment there is infinite capacity for a new thought. Think about it in your own life. Where have you been surprised by fresh thinking, either in yourself or in other people in your life? I know I've had times when a client or a family member or a friend or just somebody I saw in the grocery store or on the bus seemed to be locked on to a destructive or puzzled or ineffective path and boom, flash, they had a new thought and the whole picture changed. The second thing that every human being has in common with every other human being is that all any of us are ever up against is a product of our own thinking. It's innocent, it's no fault, and it's always the same. Every problem I've ever had has been created and defined and held in place innocently with the best of intentions by my own thinking. And in 12 step circles, it's common to hear people say, my best thinking got me here. That's just one example of it. We're all truly doing our best with the thinking we've got in the moment. And it's tempting, natural even, to look outside for solutions, for fixes, to try to manage the world around us to get a better feeling. But the only thing that ever actually makes a difference is a change in the thinking that's got us stuck in the first place. So, to reverse the order, we're all up against the same thing, no matter what problem we face. We're all up against the limits of our own thinking in that moment. And every one of us has an infinite capacity for a new thought in every moment. On the face of it, those may or may not be startling to you. The more deeply I have looked into those and the more richly or fully I've observed those at play at the world around me, the more startling they seem to me. So take those out for a test drive. I'm not asking you to take me at my word, but where do you see in your own experience that the only thing we're ever up against is a product of our own best thinking in the moment. And in any moment, there's infinite capacity for new thought. Let me know what you find. Thanks.